New video tonight of a woman inside a bodega in the Bronx right before she was shot in the face and killed outside. The gunman tonight in the wind and now with the family shocked, New York police trying to figure out whether this was a random murder or whether she was targeted. I would assume reporter Darla Miles live at the scene in the Longwood section. Darla. Well, Bill, Shaquana Button lived in this neighborhood. She came to this bodega all of the time. And as you mentioned, both police and her family members want to know why this time she never made it home. I come here now because she's laying under a sheet, right? Treated like an animal. The animal left the store, shot in the face. The NYPD hasn't identified if the shooter is seen in this surveillance video. But that is Shaquana Button engaging in a heated exchange inside of a Bronx bodega within minutes of her murder. Grown people are supposed to be able to escalate, de-escalate the situation. Shouldn't have been no reason for her to get shot in her face. Button was just shy of her 37th birthday. She was shot in the face after dispute inside of this deli near the intersection of East 149th Street and Jackson Avenue in the Longwood section of the Bronx around 11.30 p.m. Monday. Police are investigating what the argument was about, but witnesses say it may have started over a cigarette. The girl went in there, asked questions and stuff, and she said, what you jumping the line for? You know, stuff like that. Surveillance video shows Button speaking to a man in a blue hoodie who appears agitated. That's her hand, seemingly keeping him at bay. But from a different camera angle, you can see where Button is visibly upset, and a friend is holding her back. Even a woman is screaming at you as a man, you don't, you don't, you don't get down to their level at all. Button is seen leaving the deli, and seconds later, you can see the reaction of customers who run to the door after hearing the gunshot. My son was murdered 15 years ago Friday, so I, this hurts, and this is deja vu for me. Uh, Button did not have any children. Her mother is deceased, so her only remaining family members are her aunts who have come here several times today looking for answers. So if you have any information about this incident, please call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-577-TIPS.